Hello and welcome Taurus. This is your uh, mid-monthly November reading. I am Pisces Intuition. So Taurus, I'm doing something a little bit differently today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some astrology cards and then we'll get into the tarot. So the first uh, planet card that you got, you got Mercury. And this is how you think, communicate, write, talk, and travel. So again, Mercury. And then for the Zodiac card, you got the card of Sagittarius. This energy, um, it's all about power, superior, confidence, enthusiasm, with faith, good fortune, and authority. And then for the house card, you got the 11th house. This is where the cosmos grant wishes, luck, friends, and social occasions. All right, so we do have, you know, some holidays coming up. You know, if, um, if you're here in the U.S., you know, we have Thanksgiving coming up. So, um, Taurus, what I'm getting for you, though, right off the bat is, you know, this is kind of telling me, especially with your 11th house here and, you know, Mercury being here, too. This is saying that you right now is a really great time to be manifesting for you. So you need to, um, you know, make sure you're putting that out there, you know, reassess, you know, how you're thinking, how you're communicating, you know, and also do it with confidence, do it with enthusiasm, you know, have faith that, you know, what you're putting out into the cosmos, that, you know, your wishes are going to be granted. You know, like I said, you know, we are in heading towards some holidays and everything. So, you know, 11th house, that is about, you know, like social occasions, friends, things like that. But overall, what I'm getting from these three cards for you, Taurus, is definitely, like I said, it's a time to manifest. It's a time to set those intentions. So have that clear mind, you know, really focus on what it is that you want and, you know, set that out there and set that out there, like I said, with faith, good fortune, you know, um, superior confidence and enthusiasm and knowing that, you know, the wishes or whatever it is you're trying to manifest that you're setting out there is going to be granted. So, you know, Taurus, uh, luck is really kind of on your side this month. So, all right. So now let's go ahead and get into the tarot. So I think I'm going to use the So Below deck for you. I'm sorry, Taurus. Okay, so um, the first card I'm getting for you, Taurus, is the Ten of Wands. So, you know, Taurus, it really seems like you are carrying kind of a lot of heavy burdens. You know, you're really kind of just stressed out, um, you know, overworked. And then we have the Eight of Chalices. We have the Magician. We have the Sun card, we have the Five of Swords, we have the Three of Pentacles, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so, um, you know, Taurus, like I said, I'm getting right off the bat that you are really kind of, um, really overburdened. You know, you're carrying a lot of burdens here. You are, like I said, could be, you know, overworked, overstressed. You know, you're just, you're exhausted. You've got a lot of weight, you know, on your shoulders. And then we go over here to the problem, you know, which is the Knight of the Chal Knight of Chalices. You know, the Knight of Chalices, usually he's, you know, pretty laid back. And I think that's your problem. You know, you're really overburdened. You're really overworked. You're overstressed. You know, like I said, you're carrying a lot of weight on your shoulders right now. And, you know, you need to kind of um, be more relaxed. You know, perhaps you have some creative um, blockages or, you know, perhaps, um, you know, you want to reach out to a loved one. It could be a relationship. It could be a family member. But, you know, you don't know how. Now, in your environment, Taurus, we have the magician. 
you know, the magician. It's someone who know, who has all the tools, you know, and knows how to use them. Again, talking about manifestation, talking about, you know, throwing your wishes out there into the universe and letting the universe grant those wishes. Like I said, you know, it goes back to the astrology cards and what, you know, they said as far as, you know, clear your mind, stop feeling so overburdened, clear those blockages, you know, um, say what it is that you want into the universe, you know, speak clearly and, you know, let them, let the universe take care of it, you know, and really have faith that your wishes are going to be granted. Now, the solution to this problem up here, which is the Knight of Chalices, like I said, um, you know, just kind of really being laid back. Like I said, you really need to kind of take take a rest. You really need to, um, you know, if there's creative blockages or you wanting to reach out to a family member, loved one, you know, something like that. You know, communication could be blocked here. Like I said, I'm also getting a lot of creative blockages. So maybe you have something to do with some kind of... Um, you know, uh, art type work, or maybe you're a, a computer design or um, web designer, you know, you, something along these lines, just where you have to be creative, you know, maybe you're a writer, maybe you are um, writing a screenplay, writing a book, you know, whatever the case is, it's like you're creative, um, those creative juices are just kind of stopped, you know, it's like you're just really having that block right now. But the solution to that, you know, the sun card, you know, be happy, get out with your family, make sure you're not just, you know, carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders and hiding inside like a hermit. Make sure you're getting out, make sure you're socializing. You know, again, um, in your astrology cards, you have the seventh house, which is talking about, you know, long term. Um, oh, wait, no, it's not. I'm sorry. I was thinking of the other one. You had um, the 11th house, you know, where the cosmos grants wishes. You know, it's talking about luck, friends, and social occasions. You know, and that's really what you need in your life right now, Taurus. So make sure, like I said, you are getting out, you're socializing, and you're not just letting the blockages, you know, stay. Because the longer that you carry the weight on your shoulders and just kind of go into hermit mode and you're not putting yourself out there to really, you know, talk to people, to really socialize, to really just let yourself go and have fun and be happy, you know, the longer you're going to be in this, like, kind of blocked state of mind and, you know, you're just going to feel very overburdened. Now, um, for the outcome, we have the Five of Swords. Now, you know, in this particular deck, you know, the Five of Swords, you know, you see her holding her trophies, you know, she won, she did it, yeah. But then you see the other two, you know, here, you know, there's kind of some jealousy. So, you know, maybe there's some jealousy in this situation. Maybe, you know, that's why you're feeling like, did you make the right move? You know, maybe that's why you're feeling kind of blocked or, you know, something you're, you know, carrying some heavy weight on your shoulders because you feel like maybe, you know, you um, won this prize you know, but at some kind of cost because now there's some jealousy around you. So this could be, like I said, a work relationship. This could be, um, you know, an actual relationship too. Maybe there's some jealousy going on within your, you know, romantic relationship or even within the family. So now we come down here and, um, you know, this is kind of what you've really been thinking a lot about work. You've really been trying to, like I said, I keep really getting a strong sense of somebody who's very creative here. Like I said, this could be very artistic. This, you know, an art, you know, art is many forms. It could be music. It could be writing. It could be drawing. It could be painting. You know, you name it. There's so many forms of art. And, you know, I'm just getting that you're really kind of blocked. But, you know, it's like, like I said, once you release this and kind of just let that out and really kind of focus, and especially, like I said, socialize, you know, get happy, kind of get your groove back, um, you know, you will start, those blocks will be removed, and you will start, you know, letting that flow again, you know, it's just going to flow, you're going to be able to do, you know, whatever it is that your outlet is, you know, if this is like, you know, a work project or something, you know, it's definitely going to, um, you know, it's going to pick back up, it's going to be a lot, come easier for you. And then here we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, Ten of Pentacles, like I said, we are going into the holidays. Um, you know, this is family abundance. This is um, 
financial abundance. You know, this is just feeling very abundant overall. So like I said, you really need to just kind of release, you know, these heavy burdens, you know, let those blocks go, go socialize. And, you know, you, like I said, you may be feeling kind of guilty because there is some kind of jealousy around you, you know, about a current um, situation. Like I said, it could be within your, you know, romantic relationship. It could be a work situation or, you know, even possibly within family. But, you know, I do see you kind of, you know, just letting that go, you know, releasing that, thinking, you know what, they have no reason, you know, that's their... That's something they need to work on because I got here fair and square. And like I said, you know, blocks are going to be removed. You are going to be able to move forward. And, you know, just like I said, let that creativity flow. Uh, Ten of Pentacles, like I said, that's, um, you know, just feeling overall abundant. You know, again, going back to being social, you know, family gatherings. You see, you know, they're all kind of gathered around the table and everything. So, you know, this is definitely kind of... Like I said, going into the holidays, you know, I'm feeling that holiday vibe from that card. So I do see you getting together with family, friends, like I said, some social events going on here. And, you know, that's really going to help you, Taurus, you know, kind of get out of that hermit mode. You know, let some of those um, stress, you know, burdens, like I said, really get that off your shoulder. And just, it's going to help you relax. It's going to help you have a good time. And it's going to help, you know, just everything um, to go a lot easier. Just like I said, it's going to be removing those blocks that you've been having here lately and just overstressing. So, Taurus, that's what I have for you. Um, overall, you know, it's a great reading. Um, like I said, just kind of work on that and make sure you are really manifesting because this is definitely a really good month for you to do so. So, all right, I will see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching, for liking, sharing, and subscribing for those of you who've done that. I do, you know, very much appreciate that. So, again, thank you so very much, and I will see you again soon.